6 a.m. on the East Coast, and it's Friday, September the 20th, and this is Fox and Friends. Be on Virginia Beach. And I'm going to lock it out right now with your permission, Ainsley, unless you have anything else to add. Go for it. Fox and Friends starts right now. Remember, morning's about with friends. Championships? We should. This will be the first time. Uh, no, Griffin's Griff got Jenkins, it. yeah. He's yeah. done, no, no, he I know he surfs, but do we cover it? I don't know. He, he covered sure. it. He's fine. Did you know Will Kane used to swim competitively? Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's incredible, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's a good right. athlete. He, uh, we watched Pepperdine. him. We watched oh, him swim right, a few swim. weekends ago. Yeah. When he yeah. When he Water was. polo at uh, right. Pepperdine, I believe. Yeah. He was a wave. All right. So yesterday we told you about this event in Springfield. Yeah. Right. And, and to Brian's point of them having to bring in services to teach them English. Okay. How many times have we showed y'all the latest statistics on black and brown kids that can't read and write? Why are we dedicating resources to people that were born here to help them out and our kids cannot read and write? And, and by the way, I'm not sure Tajikistan, if we're going to insult people from Tajikistan, but they're migrants. They've picked up migrants who were suspected of ISIS ties in Philadelphia. They plan on attacking the LBGTQ parade over the weekend. So if I point that out, am I anti-Tajik <laughs> or am I pro-American right. that doesn't want to see a parade blown up? Well, we should also point out that the Republican governor, Mike DeWine there, in Ohio, welcomes Palestine. the Mustang. I don't know what his problem is. He comes in later and is in critical of people that want to help. Mm -hmm. You should be helping ahead of time and not let this get out of control. You should be stumping to get federal dollars to that small city, 100%. not waiting for it to be brought up on the debate. 100%. So, and Michael, Michael DeWine, uh, Governor DeWine is, is really out of step. All right, let's hand it over to Carly. She has some more headlines for us. Hey, Carly. Yeah, guys, in a shocking Morning. story out of Kentucky to get to a sheriff in eastern Clearly Kentucky. Clearly dogs. Pandas We've all seen a panda. Pandas don't bark, <laughs> and they don't have a, a curly, long tail. Yes. Uh, well, yeah, two things. You can, you can disappoint people and say we're out of pandas, or you could dress up a dog. First, the zoo tried to say the animals were a breed of panda dogs. <laughs> then they realized they needed to come clean, and they told the public, and then visitors wanted their money back. Now right. you know. Now you know I haven't gotten to the bottom of COVID-19. Pandas don't true. bark. Thank you, Carly. <laughs> I do Will, love it. We'll I back. love it. I think it's so cute when they dress alike. No. I know well, most, most husbands won't do it, but when no, they do, it's starling. I think when you're children and you dress your children alike, I think that's okay. I think when you become an adult, I think you should separate. What, well, if, yeah, what this about is, this couple? How cute are they? Well, they're wearing Virginia, nice Virginia right. Beach shirts. Right. They're selling Virginia Beach. I'm with you, Brian, but right. I won't be subscribing to that dressing alike. Uh, oh, that's what you say now. We'll see. Oh, uh, I will. I will. <laughs> <laughs> All black. Yeah. All right. Johnny Cash. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just go for it. Is the, re uh, is the reason behind rising unemployment right under our noses? Well, this explains on this Friday. Coming up next. Come hey, over, Jackie. Jackie. How you doing? Thanks for getting up early. Hey. Big Money Show on Fox Business, Jackie DeAngelis. Good to see you, Good Jackie. Good morning. So why do you think he said that? I mean, he's basically admitting because our southern border is open, they're taking jobs from yeah. Americans. This was so interesting that he added it in there. Let me start by saying, Ainsley, I think he cut rates by a half a point mm -hmm. because the economy is in worse shape than most people understand. Mm -hmm. I think he has access to data points we that we need don't. the immigration. We need these workers to come into our country. I'm not necessarily sure that we do at this level. Of yeah. course, we need legal immigrants, but not the extra overflow. Well, they say native-born American workers, they have lost 1.3 million jobs. Yes. Just these left. people that were born and now they're here legally. We, we don't, don't know. know. Do we? we don't know. And I don't know if Jerome Powell knows. Um, and that's why it's so hard to put the pieces of this story together. But what those statistics tell you is that native-born Americans are and losing the education system and law enforcement, how everyone is being overburdened. It's not just along the southern border. It's everywhere now. Yeah, I mean, it's so sad to know. We remember when the markets crashed, so many friends lost jobs. It is so stressful when you don't have a paycheck coming in. Yeah. And so when you look at these numbers, I feel like some of our leaders are not looking out for Americans. They're not putting Americans first. No, and that brings me to remind everybody at home. Ultimately, what we're seeing is a situation that was created by this administration. Right. When they hiked inflation up to 9%, they really hurt the average American. And just because the stock market went up yesterday, that doesn't mean that we're not going to see tough times ahead. Right. Right. Ultimately, rates coming down, those savers, those retirees, they're going to be hurt. Jackie, thank you so thank much. Thank you. You can all watch Jackie on The Big Money Show, one PM Great weekend, thank Jackie, you. and a good show. All right, more Fox and Friends still ahead. Four years ago, Joe got to pay more for groceries, got to pay more for gas, got to pay more for everything. He's just got a certain amount of the pie, of 
pot of cash. Well, she Steve, can't, she, Steve, right he can't afford a shirt. Yeah. Yeah. He's retired. That mili- would be the lead. He's retired military. Deserves to be on that beach with his beer, without his shirt, and having that boat. But she kept going. She said to him, "Groceries are probably a smaller part of your budget than someone who's worse off." It's unbelievable. Just an activist well, reporter. A- at least they did run it. They didn't have to run it. Mm-hmm. They ran it. It's true. Right. Uh, I also saw when they they went after Trump uh, uh, at his speech in front of the anti-Semitic conference. He came out and he said, look, if you're a Democrat, I don't understand how you could vote. If you're a Jewish person in America, how you could vote for a Democrat, they're going to destroy Israel. And that's all they focused on there. How could Donald Trump uh, uh, threaten Democrats? He's not threatening them. He's trying to say, I'm pro-Israel. You saw what I did for four years. Mm -hmm. That was their angle on covering Trump. Corrupt. All right. Carly has some headlines for us. Yeah, guys, I certainly do. And new overnight, eight Firefox and friends. Today is Ainsley's birthday. And we have a very special birthday message for her. How sweet. And take it away, guys. We also have some special guests from the special men. It's almost just. Thank y'all so much. Thanks, honey. Thank you so much. from your daughter. Aww. That was so nice. Thank you so much to everyone who coordinated <laughs> all this. I was like, they're like, stand by, Ainsley. Would you like the first I'm like, what are we doing? Yeah, uh, and wait, and there's during, nothing in the rundown. And during my headlines, there was such a golf ball right. to my left. You had to use all your professionalism. There's like three stomping elephants trying to collect all this stuff. Well, to get I, I yeah. slightly yeah. tilted it and it went into Brian's That's coat. I'll eat the break. Wow. wow. Thanks. And look okay. at the champagne balloon. Oh, I love it. Here you go. break some open. You know what? I think it's Thank time you. for us to all say, Ainsley, we're, we're so, so glad you were born. born. Thank you so much. And hey to Hayden. I know she has to go to school in just a little bit, but uh-huh. she kept saying, she said, Mama, uh, I'm not, we don't keep secrets. And I said, I know. She said, am I allowed to tell you I did a video for your birthday? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> she spoiled it. <laughs> it's okay. I Weren't love you, you sweetheart. That's boots. so sweet. I'm so glad you were born. Wait a second. You're not supposed to eat. You're supposed to give to Carl. Oh, oh no, no. no it's just... her birthday. Oh, yeah. oh sorry. Because she's she's the only one that should be eating it. You said you wanted cake. <laughs> that is so good. <laughs> She was That's been up okay. earlier. I, yeah, I can wait. So right. Thank you. Here, I love would you chocolate like chocolate cake. I uh, know it's all yours. Oh, are you sure? Yes, you've been okay. up earlier. <laughs> she goes to bed at like six and gets up at one. <laughs> so anyway, folks, so if you notice that the banks are closed today, mm, it's because good. it's <laughs> <laughs> right? It's a national, national holiday. National. I'm so tired right. of getting there by three o'clock. Well, happy That's birthday! Right. All right, happy birthday, Ainsley. Thank you to all the producers. I know a lot went into this, so God bless you all. They're great. Right, they've been baking throughout the night. That is a great nice. celebration. Nice. Big round of applause to everybody. Lawrence, you were there. Good crew. Good crew. Yeah. Uh, so the, the speech that was given um, was incredible, honoring um, our Joke. friend. Yeah. Well, terrific. And hats off to all That's the great there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, coming up. Now, now to this. Poland shows former President Trump trailing Kamala Harris by 7%. Club. No kidding. Right. It's, group. it's Friday. Fun. It's your birthday. <laughs> right. You can celebrate. Fly down after the show. You don't have to join a club. Even you could drink wine on your own. You don't need others. This really is coffee. Right. Right. Sure yeah. it is. <laughs> hey, uh, Carly but, but, Shimkus but drinks a lot of wine. 40 minutes. <laughs> 40 minutes and we can pop a bottle. Right. Yeah, that's right. I'll partake. <laughs> right. I mean, I Brian just problems. said it, so why not? I don't have any. Yeah. I don't have any in We're my office. Driving. I can lean into that. It's a Friday and there's something to I celebrate. I think, here. I think uh, Geraldo's old office probably has right. Yes. I mean, let's at just go bar. right there. At yeah. a bar. <laughs> Uh, Gavin gave me a bottle of whiskey once and it's in my office, but I think that's a little too strong right. for 9 a.m. Right, that's good for Gavin, not for Carly. <laughs> All right, we got some headlines that's to get to, starting open. with this. Yeah. Former As President, we were just discussing, it is a very big day here on Fox and Friends. Today is Ainsley's birthday, and Brian is marking this day yes. by coming to terms with Ainsley's daily use of a space heater. <laughs> Now Brian has right. a special gift for Ainsley. Oh, All right, Ainsley. Here we go. This is for you. This is for you. And this is a These heated awesome. seat. 
This is no. a heated seat. No you can way. Plug it in. Yeah, you could sit on it. Oh, quick. Right. Can we paint it white? And can I we could paint stop, it white? I could Nobody stop never sweating this this during really, the show. That's this amazing. How about that? What we need is an extension cord. Where do you plug it in, Brian? Oh, we have to get an extension cord. We have electricity. Can we paint this white? It's a USB. You got to plug it in. I love it. That's awesome. That is the best I birthday like present this. ever. All right. All right, we're going to work this out. So these, this, do you remember Elizabeth Hasselbeck had this job before me? Yep. And she used to stick these on her back because she was so right. so cold all the time. Chilly. Oh, wow. She gave me some of them when, when she left Fox. So did Brian give her grief, too, about a heater? Sure. And she just no, she was no. nicer than I am. Right. <laughs> she didn't have a space heater. She just right. put these on her body. Right. I'm, uh, my, eyes are dry. my eyes are so dry at the end of the show. <laughs> they just tear up during radio. And people are like, why are you crying? And I'm like, no, Angelie's heater's off. And my, my, the liquid's coming back. <laughs> I have eye drops for your birthday present. <laughs> but uh, uh, this is your birthday. This is your birthday present. This is the best nice. birthday present. Is it for a stadium seat? All right. Yes. It, let me ask yeah, you, you where, where did you find this? Yeah, I can't give away everything. Uh -huh. Spencer uh -huh. Gifts. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, Spencer. I, think, I think you sent Lexi out <laughs> yesterday all over the city looking for one, right? You'll never wow. Know. Yep. <laughs> You should not ask people where they got their gifts. You should just accept them. <laughs> Happy birthday, Angel. Thank you. Dawn. It's either Lexi or Dawn. All right. Thank you to the two women in Brian's life. His how, wife how, and his do I, how do I get berated even when I give gifts? This is incredible. Uh, and coming up next. He's great. I Plus, hope he runs for president one day. Right. Thank you. He, he Never knows. Is. Maybe uh, go to Governor, uh, Governor Hochul will call him. Plus, Ainsley, <laughs> we have a surprise performance from singer and songwriter Kyle. Go ahead. No, it's. Uh, Kyle, what's your last name? Coolahan. Coolahan. Yeah. All right. He's a cool Ainsley guy. Birthday. Happy thank birthday, Ainsley. Thank you, Kyle. Uh, I love your new song. We're going to hear it at the end of the show. Yes, it's awesome. Thank you so much. I wrote you a oh, special birthday song. Oh, you did. It's coming up later. Oh, that means so much yeah, to me. I just you. am listening to your beautiful voice. I wish She's I could so sing. Thanks, everyone. I love y'all. Stay with yourself.